So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is build a serverless web app with firebase so first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so now wait now you have to open the firebase console so for that i've shared the github repo in the description you can check it out now here just right click over here and just open an incognito now you need to follow the way i'm doing so first of all use the username and password listed on the lab paste over here and hit enter again do the same here click on next now click on i understand now here under details we have to create an app so let's wait for the firebase to set up as you can see here is the project id if you are unable to set up the project ID, you have to just click on create a project. Now here you have to just accept the terms. And now we will first of all set the authentication. On later part of this lab too. So, but let's cover it this first. So now click on get started. Just follow the way I am doing in the video. Now here click on Google and just enable it. From here select your student id and just click on save first of all let's verify there is no need of any modification then click on save now here once you have clicked on save here we will go to the project overview and set up our app so let's wait for it to get saved so finally it is saved now now click on the project overview from here you have to select the web app so here is the web app icon as you can see click on this now for the app name it's pet theory as you can see here just copy it paste over here now you have to see that we have to enable this toggle so I'll click on register app it will take few seconds so finally our app has been registered now click on next next and continue to console so finally we have set up the app now when you hit check my progress you will get the score for this task for sure and let me show you so basically this was the first step we have to do but we have already completed this step so no need to worry about it as you can see here you can modify the project name if you have made a mistake or uh, like support email if you want to change so we don't have to change it now you can hit check my progress you'll get the score for task number two we have already authenticated first so we'll get the score without any issue so now for this part we have to just update the database so let me see once again so we have to click on build so here when you scroll you can see build is here now for build we have to click on this firebase database so when will it be available here we have to click on create database and as you can see we don't have to make any other modifications so just hit next again click on create so it will take some time to create wait for it then basically after that we have to update the rules so i will tell you how you can update the rules first let's wait for it to be created so finally the data has been created here is rules if you are unable to see just scroll up and from here we'll be adding the rules just go back to the lab and copy here and just replace entire content and paste now click on publish and it will be updated so suppose if you are using a personal project you can do one more thing like you can directly develop and test using cloud shell or just using a local personal machine where you will be testing this so this part has been done now we have to open the id so this part many of you guys are facing issues like you are unable to paste it so for this make sure you are using chrome browser and you have to just i will show you how you can paste it 
because the many people are facing issue on pasting the command because here control v is not working so let me show you how we will do so first of all wait for the id to load it will take some time so you need to wait for it now click on this navigation menu terminal and new terminal now wait for the terminal to open now again once the terminal is live now we will go to the github repo scroll down a bit and just copy this and right click over here and just allow it make sure to allow the clipboard and then hit enter now it will take some time so wait for it If you want you can go back to the lab instruction and try to hit check my progress for the task so let me show you here so when you hit check my progress you won't be able to get score on the last task because here we have to make some entry basically we have to enter the data that is customer details so after that we'll be able to complete this so here we have to just build our app and here i will tell you how you can build it no need to worry about it all steps will be covered here just type y and hit enter so now you have to open this link so you won't be able to open this directly you have to click on control button and just click the mouse wheel basically the mouse and drag the cursor and open it now select the student user id and just click on continue again allow yourself yes i ran this session id copy it so as you can see here is the take the note of session id so this was the session id and just right click over here the authorization code would be authorization code has been pasted now here make sure to follow it carefully for moving this options you have to use the up and down arrow key so now press it and make sure you are in this hosting configure github action deploys okay so for selecting you have to click on mouse button basically the space bar sorry space bar you have to click on and just hit enter after that click on use existing project and just again select the project id you have to cross verify you can verify from the lab instructions the project id is same now hit enter now again hit enter multiple times again hit enter enter and now it will execute and your app web app will be ready soon so you need to wait for it so just wait let's see the app will be ready soon meanwhile if you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe it and like the video so finally the app is ready you have to click on the hosting url just again click on the control and click as you can see here is mentioned also now open it now what you need to do here you have to just sign in using google again select the student user id make sure you are using student id not your personal git personal gmail or any github account so select it click on continue now here basically you have to enter any name you can add any name i am writing jadu and for phone number any 10 digit one digit five digit any number and then you have to just click on save and it will be updated and if you try to hit check my progress you will get the score no need to worry about it let me show you so as you can see we are trying to hit check my progress and we got the score and we have completed this lab without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab do let me know if you face any issue. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead.